This video is basically why Australia has a very unique biodiversity and what makes it special from the evolutionary standpoint. So, Australia has been separated from, as, as a landmass, has been disconnected from other landmasses for a relatively long amount of time. And this creates a unique fauna and flora that's not found anywhere else in the world. Like if you, if you look at it like Africa and South America, they both were collected recently, so this means that there's a lot of similarities between both, but Australia hasn't as much. Um, if, you, if you look at some of the islands around the world, many of the islands are oceanic or volcanic islands. These are islands that just happen to appear all of a sudden, and they haven't been on their own as long as Australia. So this means a lot of the species that come just evolved, haven't really had that much time to evolve on their own. But with Australia, and for so much time on their own, they've evolved their own, their, their own almost everything. The plants, there's a lot of eucalyptus trees. This is the Myrtaceae family. But what's, I think, I think most biologists agree that the mammals of Australia are some of the most fascinating from an evolutionary standpoint because there has been a radiation of marsupials. And these are animals that carry their young in their belly they have a pouch to carry their young and they have re really um, taken over the niche radiated to take the role of many of the placentates in other parts of the world for example the Tasmanian tiger which is now considered extinct would take on the niche of a cat, a wild cat such as a jaguar or a jaguarundi or a leopard. The, the Tasmanian devil, the same case, probably take the, the role of a small canid, a small dog. The kangaroos, um, Grab the, the kangaroos could be seen mostly as um, some of the rumen could, could be seen as species that take over the ruminants. The there's a lot. The, the interior of Australia is very dry and just supports a, a big number of reptiles. And I personally remember seeing. The, some of the two deadliest snakes in the world, the Taipan snake and the tiger snake in the Queensland Highlands. And uh, they are related to cobra, so they are, they have neurotoxic venom. The forest of, of Queensland is actually reminiscent of a tropical rainforest, only that it has a little bit less species. It's a little bit less, um, it's a little bit less um, lush. It's a little bit drier. The, the rainfall is not as, it's not the 12 meters that you get, for example, in the Amazon basin. And in, in, this, in this circumstances, just because there's not that many contact with other species, the species that stay there just basically in the absence of as all these other animals that try to keep everything else in check as they have been in Europe or the Americas, the species that have been there have basically evolved in sometimes in non-predator-like environments like ch such as the flightless birds in the nearby islands such as the dodo and the commodore dragon, which is a lizard that